guys, it's your girl Natalie, the one true diamond, coming at you with Hump Day Chit Chat. It's Wednesday. I'm on my way to work. I um I wanted to just come on and talk briefly. I know I've been talking pretty much all week if you watch my other videos about weight loss. But I particularly wanted to come on because I today is our week. Um, two actual weigh-in starting at week three, okay? The first week I weighed in at 200 and... Well, anyway, I'm doing this vlog now because I had made a wonderful video. I feel it was wonderful. <laughs> oh, this morning, and I was so excited that I had got my weight all wrong, and I'm like, I can't post this. Even though I was going to go and put a correction in the um, description box, I was like, I am way too excited. And that wasn't even the weight. I don't know where I got that weight from. <laughs> in my mind, I wanted, I thought I had lost that much. But anyway, it was just crazy. So I went over and I done a quick little one and I posted that this morning. Okay. The actual right, the right weight okay but I just wanted to come on and just talk a little bit more about the the um, counting calories and how I feel about it um, I would say the good bad the ugly maybe I've only been doing it for two weeks so I'm not an expert on it definitely not an expert on it because I'm sure there's some more in-depthness to it than what I am even touching. And the reason why I say that is, is because I'm still doing snacking. And I guess I could do healthier snacking. And I, I don't think I do too bad of snack because my snacks are usually like cheese sticks, yogurt, um, banana, or either the little um, halo oranges things like that um cuties or whatever you call them the little cuties uh, those now and now i have fell in love with um just to get the kind of the sweet craving this um boom chicken pop sweet and salty popcorn so i fell in love with that popcorn that's like a snack for me and the reason why I think I do a lot of snacking is because I still cannot, thank God, I'm not complaining. I cannot eat as much as I used to. So my lunches, I usually if I eat like a protein and a vegetable or some type of protein and starch, I'm usually full and I can't eat anymore during my lunch break. So I can't add my dessert or something like that to it. You know, so... Sometimes it looks like my snack list seems a lot because in my net diary, they give you breakfast, lunch, dinner, and your snacks, okay? That's the three sections that you log in. So sometimes it looks like my snacks outweigh what any meal would weigh. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So it looks like I'm snack, 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 snacking. Even though I know it's some of those snacks are considered, I guess, one of the small meals, like keeping myself um, regular. Like I'll eat um, my breakfast, then around maybe 11, 30-ish, maybe 12, I'll go eat a cheese stick. Then I usually eat lunch. Anywhere from 1 to 1.30 is my lunch time. So I'll go eat lunch at that time. Then that afternoon, I want something to snack on, and I was either doing either the um, Captain Wafers crackers, or I would do a piece of fruit, or another little Baby Bell cheese, something like that. I would do that for snack. Okay. Then... As far as on my ride home, especially if I'm going to the store, I will eat my yogurt. I would eat um, 
or 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 I would do a banana or you know just something like that either banana yogurt or sometimes I'll bring a boiled egg a boiled egg something to make me feel full so I won't want to really snack 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 on the way home so I would do things like that but anyway I'm not complaining I'm happy I was down 1.8 this week because I was 223 last week this week I weighed in at 221.2 and I was thinking I was 220.2 I don't know where I got 220 from I do I just dropped that whole pound off I just lost a whole pound from the time I weighed the time I worked out and the time I did the video I lost a whole pound I don't know what went around but anyway I just feel good because I'm on target I'm on track to hopefully losing 10 pounds by my wedding. It's a steady, slow way. It's the steady, slow that may, that stays. You know, I um, I have thoroughly enjoyed the counting calories. Like I said, I do not feel restricted when I with what I can eat because I'm adding it in my calorie count. And I know, you know, at Weight Watchers, some people say they don't feel restricted with that. But I felt like, I don't know, it seemed like I was getting 30 points. And 30 points probably equal up to what I'm eating now. I, I, it probably do. You know what I'm saying? But in my mind, it's just like, okay, I get 30 points. And most of the time, your points are pretty much like, a, it's a wrap. It don't give you room for, um, if you're having breakfast and lunch... It don't give you much room to me for any snacking in between with your meals those 30 points don't not to me it don't because you can easily run up some points and I know there's a lot of free food you know and I know a lot of people are doing simply filling and they are enjoying their simply filling I know that so I haven't tried simply filling so I can't talk about that but I can talk about points and it seems like just and I know I used to say tracking was giving me a fit but with this how I have tackled it I go ahead and do all my tracking that morning the only meal I don't track is dinner because I'm not sure what I'm going to have for dinner but I track my breakfast I track my lunch I track all my snacks for the day early in the morning when I'm packing my lunch bag I do all of that so then I know how many points I got for dinner and well not points I'm sorry how many calories I have left for dinner and that just seems to work so much better for me because I know hey you can't you can't eat that if you want to eat dinner you know so it just keeps me more aware and I'm sure points work the same exact way but I me myself personally I am enjoying the counting calories okay and maybe because it's a free version of it <laughs> it's free okay <laughs> but anyway I'm enjoying that so I do believe well I'm going to see how the rest of the month goes I know I'm going to continue to count calories in my mind right now at this point calorie count is what I am going to be doing so I will be officially taking some time out to figure out how to unsubscribe to the Weight Watchers, how to cancel my subscription, and yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to cancel my Weight Watchers subscription. I tried to do an official subscription because y'all know I was doing Weight Watchers unofficially for so long. <laughs> That's how I would have been doing for off and on. I was unofficially doing Weight Watchers, which means somebody had purchased the books for me. And I was going by the books and trying to do it on my own. I calculated my own weight, but I needed to stay with them. And then when they changed their program up to what it is now, I said, well, I want to try that. And I couldn't find really anybody to actually get me the books. And I was going to try to order the books off of um, eBay because somebody was selling them. But then, you know, I just got some information that, you know, it's kind of hard to calculate. You can't tell. So I'm like, let me just go ahead and join, you know. Um, because I didn't, you know, really know anybody who was, I couldn't find it 
online like I could with the old Weight Watcher system. I guess because it was so new and nobody had made blog posts and things like that about it. So I went on and joined. And, you know, so, but I do think that I'm going to start back counting the calories because that's really working for me. I've had a steady weight loss so far these two weeks. And I think as long as I stay mindful, you know, and that's with any weight loss program, if you stay mindful of what you're doing, you know, you got to keep it on the front burner, okay? You don't have to stress or perseverate over it, but you just got to keep it in your mind, you know, I'm on a weight loss journey. I have to be careful what goes in my mouth. I have to be accountable for everything that goes in my mouth. So you got to remember that you got to put it down. And my best, the thing that I know is best is to either do my calculations up and I calculate everything that's in my bag. Now, whether I eat everything that's in that bag or not, I still have it calculated and it's there. So what I do is at the end of the night, if I did not eat something in my lunch bag that I had actually packed, I just take it off of the program. You know, I just take it out of the app. And there you have it. And I try to make sure I do stay. Because, you know, when you work out, um, those points, no, those points, those calories that you burn off, they add them onto your daily amount that you can have. Okay, now according to the calculations that I was given for my height, my weight, and how many days a week I said I was going to work out, I have to stay at 1,700 calories, okay? Like I said, I get a few more extra because I work out. Sometimes I don't even use those workout calories. I try not to. I try to stay within the 1,700, okay? And it seems to be working. Some days I do go over 1,700. But the majority of the days, I'm not at 17. So, you know, I I think that's awesome in itself. And like I said, it has been working. I'm sure if I cut it down a little bit lower, I'm sure um, just thinking, you know how we do, might, burn, might lose a little bit more. But I don't know. Right now, I'm losing steadily and I'm happy with it. So I'm not going to touch what I'm doing right now i feel like it's working good and like i say if something's working well don't touch don't mess with it so i'm gonna stay with what i'm doing as far as the calorie counting and how i'm actually doing it now as far as um if i have a sweet tooth and i want something sweet yes like i said in a previous video i eat a little debbie cake i do i, I have a little debbie chocolate cupcakes and in the inside of me last night it was saying take two because you're watching TV and you don't want to get back up to get the other one and I said no I'm only going to get one which is 220 calories for one little round cupcake and I'm like no I'm only going to get one and I got that one and I ate it and I was fine you know sometimes we can't listen to that fat girl that's in our mind she tries to stay up in our heads all the doggone time you got to keep her under subjection so that's why i said it's so important to be mindful of everything you're doing and putting in your mouth and write it down as soon as you do don't say i'll do it later write it down now now if you have to put it on a little piece of paper I would just do it on a little piece of paper. I would make sure I hurry up and put it in so I could calculate my points so I could know where I was for the day. You want to make sure you always know where you are, where you stand with your points so you don't overdo it, okay? So, with that being said, I hope this video helps someone. And I hope you know that my journey is helping someone. Um, it's not a perfect journey, but I'm willing to share where I am, what I'm doing, what I'm trying, and hopefully it will help somebody along the way, okay, or encourage someone. So anyway, I'm going to get off here for now so I can stay under 15 minutes, but I will see you in my next video. As always, give God some praise, give him some thanks for waking up this morning, starting you on your way, giving you a chance to get it right. It's always a blessing to get it right. I'll see you guys later. Bye now.